So if you've been looking for a gimbal and you've been searching on YouTube, chances are you've run across this one. It's by Insta360. It's called The Flow. I've got the creator kit. And I will mention that I purchased this with my own money, so it's not a sponsored video. Inside of that box, you get a throwaway bag here. I mean, it's not very good. Um, it's got really rough edges to it. And I think it's only going to last a little while uh, before it starts breaking down on you, but it is what it is. You also get this light. Uh, that you can attach and it's a small fill light so it's going to work to illuminate you or another person that's next to you not really the room or anything uh, and then of course there's this little added grip that you can slide over the handle of the gimbal uh, it doesn't extend the handle length but it actually adds more grip to it you get a bunch of cables and then of course we also get the gimbal itself which is this right here it comes in white as well as stone gray which is what i have kind of reminds me of the original playstation color um but there you have it and a lot of people have just ranted and raved about this gimbal the problem i have with it is it's not comfortable to use there's a couple of other things too um i am sending this back this is not meant to be a bash on Insta360. I'm really happy they're in the gimbal game because it means that more competition will drive innovation. Uh, but I'll, I'll pop my phone on in just a minute. But let me show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. So that's it. That's all you have to do is slide it up. It turns on. And I mean, for real beginners and stuff, that's going to be just the easiest thing ever. But look at the handle. Now, for some of you who've already watched videos, I know this opens up and you can extend it. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But in this position, if I don't do that, and I'll mention, I mean, there's hand size. It's not small. It's not large. It's probably average. And so I have to like aim my finger back here. Otherwise, on the kind of trigger here, it's resting there. And I have to almost push my thumb back to reach this joystick, which is what's going to control movements and, and other things like that. Now, with that being said, when I extend the handle, and you do get a little lip here. It doesn't really bother me, but uh, when you do that, I mean, I still, I mean, I get a little bit better here, but on the joystick and the controls, I still feel like my thumb gets pushed back and it's very uncomfortable. I don't have that problem with other gimbals. So the DJI gimbal that I had from the past, not a problem. Uh, I picked up the Hohem iSteady M6, not a problem. This is something inherent with this gimbal, and I don't know if it's because of the shorter kind of handle here or what it is, but it's not comfortable to use. And so if it's not comfortable to use, you're probably not going to use it. I know I won't. Uh, it's not comfortable. And therefore, it's going back. Now, it does have this little tripod built in, which is kind of nice. But I will caution you, if you're using a heavier phone, especially if it has a case on it, it can get a little wobbly. Uh, not a game breaker or a deal breaker because it has a thread on the bottom that you can attach to another tripod if you want. The other thing I'll mention is it's got, as the gimbal goes crazy on the, on the table here, it's got this little... Uh, clamp that goes around your case and your phone. It's magnetic here. And then what we do from there is we simply snap it into place just like so. And that's all there is to it. So uh, at that point, you can start operating it with the included app, which by the way, their app is top notch. I mean, when you compare it to uh, the DJI app, or if you compare it to uh, even like the Hoham app, it's so much better. Um, the other issue that I've got, so uh, ergonomics is the deal breaker, uh, but then this arm, uh, it prevents you from being able to do certain things that I want to do. So I'm going to open up the Insta app and I'm just going to pop open the camera. And as we do that, get out of that. And as we do that, so you have to shift my hand to kind of get it to work. Uh, as I angle it up, that's as high up as it's going to go. Uh, so you are limited into how high up and how low you can aim it. And that's because of that arm. Uh, it's the design. 
the other gimbals that I have, it almost goes flat, straight up and down. Now, the other issue that I have with this is depending on what you're doing and what angle you're positioning this at, uh, it doesn't always do what I want it to do. And with that being said, this arm can get in some of the shots. So, uh, you know, that that's something that may not bother everybody, especially if you're just doing real basic stuff with the gimbal. Um, it may not be an issue at all, but it is something worth mentioning. So uh, the two critical kind of issues that I've got with this is one, ergonomics, even with this extended, it's not comfortable to use. And two, uh, the design, because of this bar here, which I appreciate what they're trying to do, it does tend to get in the way of some shots. Now, again, that may not be something that impacts all of you out there. Um, their software is top notch, uh, much better than what others have created from DJI and Hohem, in my opinion. I'm not going to get into that. Um, but this one is going back. I'm, I'm not keeping it. I'm going to keep my Hohem instead. Um, so, my advice to you. Uh, is if you are in the market for a gimbal, if you're looking for something that does the absolute basics, um, just pick it up from somewhere that you know you can return it if you find that it's not comfortable to hold and operate. That is the key kind of takeaway here. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I would love to hear it. If you use a gimbal, let me know which one you use. And if you're getting one, let me know which one you're getting. I will talk to you next time. Take care, everybody.